Hi, I'm Allie. You may remember me as Baba Sheep from Mother Goose Club. But I'm embarking on a new adventure with my friend, Alfie. Join us as we explore the fascinating animal kingdom. Wild, wild, wild. It's Wild Wild Wow! Phew, it's hot today. I don't think I'm gonna need this jacket. Wow, we humans are really lucky, aren't we? How so? Well, we can wear warm clothes when it's cold or feel clothes when it's hot. But animals have to wear the same coat all year round. Well, that's not exactly true. It isn't? No, some animals change their coats throughout the year. Really? Yes, and there's a special animal that grows a brand new coat every year. Wow, what animal is this? I'll show you. Let's take a look through the creature scope. Hmm, an animal that can change its coat every year. I can't think what it is. These animals can be found in many countries all over the world. Let me see. Can you guess what these animals are that we're looking at, Alfie? I know, they're sheep. You've got it, Alfie. And do you see their thick white coats? I do. They're so fluffy, they look like clouds. Especially when an entire flock of them stand together. A flock? A flock is what we call a group of sheep. A flock of sheep. Right, but just think about all that wool they carry. We call it a fleece, and the sheep's fleece gets really, really hot in the summertime. Because the weather in summer is really, really hot, right? Exactly. It would be just like us wearing a big, thick, heavy coat on a very hot day. The poor sheep. It mustn't be very nice for them. But here's the good news, Alfie. They don't wear their coats in the summer. What? You mean sheep can take off their own woolly coats? The sheep can't. We take off their woolly coats for them. What? What's happening here? That's a sheep getting a summer haircut. We say they're being shorn. Doesn't it hurt the sheep? No, it's just like when you go to the hairdresser. They cut your hair and you don't feel it much at all. Wow, wow, wow. And here they are, nice and cool without their thick, heavy woolen coats and all ready for a hot summer. Exactly. Sheep wool is nice and curly and fluffy. I wonder what sheep would look like if their wool stood straight out. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Hey, Alfie, that gives me an idea. You want to try something fun? Yes, please. Come on, everyone. Let's take a ride in the Zippy Zoomer and head off for some fun. Ready, everybody? Let's wow, wow, wow! Hey there, kids, come gather around. Come meet the animals, adventures abound. Learning, exploring, let's seize the day. Come on, let's play! Yay! Hills to jungles and seas, up in the sky to the trees. Yeah, it's wild, wild. everyone. Today we're going to make my hair stand. That sounds impossible, Allie. How do we do that? I'll show you. All we need is some felt, a plastic pipe, three cans, and one of them is going to have a straw coming out of it. And then there's a string attached with a little can top tied at the end. And we have some balloons mm. and a balloon pump. So now we're going to blow up our balloons. Yay! Let's use the balloon pump. Ready? That's pretty good. I'm going to tie it up. Perfect. You can take this balloon and rub it on my hair. And then mm. we can see what happens. Oh. <laughs> All right, here goes. <laughs> and start. <gasps> Whoa. Now, how does that work? Static electricity. What's static electricity? Mm, it's a little tricky to explain, Alfie. 
Static electricity is the buildup of electrical charge in one thing when it's rubbed against another thing. So you're telling me static electricity makes things stick together? Well, when they have opposite charges, they stick together. And when they have the same charge, they push apart. Wow, so what happened when I rubbed the balloon on your hair? The balloon became negatively charged. So when it rubbed against my positively charged hair, it stuck together. <laughs> That's wild. What else can we do with static? Oh, well, I have something special to show you. Mm -hmm. Let's start with our first experiment. First, we'll take our plastic pipe, cover it with the felt, and then we're going to give it a charge. Hmm. So now, when I bring it to the can, you're gonna see what happens. Ready? Take a good look at that can. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited. <gasps> it's moving. It's making it move. Wow, look at it go. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, wow. I can't believe my eyes. <laughs> now it's time to move on to our next experiment. Mm. We'll put this one in the center. And we'll do the same thing again. Mm -hmm. And give this plastic pipe a charge. Mm. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know, Allie, but I can't wait to find out. <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> oh! It's sticking! Cool. That means they have opposite charges they're sticking together. That is fantastic. <laughs> and it's all thanks to science. Hmm. And you can try this at home, too. It's super easy and lots of fun. for a good stretch. First, we're gonna go on to all fours, mm -hmm. like a horse, mm -hmm. and then we're going to bring our foot back and our opposite arm out. Mm. Next, we're gonna go back to all fours, but this time, we're gonna arch our back like a sheep. Mm. Finally, we're gonna get into a kneeling position. Mm -hmm. Spread our legs apart, put the palms of our hands on the floor, and we're gonna yawn like a lion, mm. but with his tongue out. Ready? <gasps> <laughs> did you have so much fun? I know I did. What a 
hair. Amazing day we've had today, Yali. We sure have. Thanks so much for joining us. And don't forget, we say it's Wild Wild Wow. It's Wild Wild Wow.